In this tutorial, we are going to make a realistic paper texture from scratch in Adobe Photoshop. Begin by creating a new document at 1200 by 800 pixels. With the document open, fill the layer with a light beige color. You can always come back and change this later. Now, create a new layer. We're going to add an effect called Clouds to the top layer. This effect takes colors from the foreground and background colors that you have set. So let's change the background color to a slightly darker beige and the foreground color to a slightly lighter beige. All right, now go to Filter, Render, then click Clouds. This is a nice start, but we can take it further. Go to Filter Gallery, and under Artistic, choose Palette Knife. Set the stroke size to 40, and the stroke detail to 3, and the softness to 0. Click OK. Paper is not usually completely smooth, so let's add a bit of noise to the layer. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Set the noise to 10% and make sure monochromatic is checked. Click OK. Last, change the blending mode to multiply and set the opacity to 50%. Okay, now we're going to repeat the previous steps just without adding noise. This time, make the foreground and background colors slightly darker. Now, add clouds. Then apply palette knife. Alright, now we're going to add some real paper texture to this layer. Go to the filter gallery, texture, then click texturizer. Choose Canvas, set the scaling to 200%, the Relief to 3, and the Light to bottom right. Click OK. Now set the Blending Mode to Overlay and the Opacity to 50%. You can easily change the tint or contrast of the paper by experimenting with the base layer. Changing the hue can dramatically alter the look of the paper. If you want to make the texture more or less pronounced, try changing the lightness. 